That was strange. Not sure what happened there. But, um, I must have hit something that made me stop streaming. Of course, there's no timestamps on anything, so I can't actually tell when I did that. Actually, let's see. Nope, there's no timestamp for, um, when Seribot did that. Was this minute? One minute ago. Oh, so it was just a minute ago. Cool. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I think when I hit escape by mistake on my keyboard and it closed out a source that I have open for OBS, it uh, shut the stream down. Um, I need to turn that off. I don't have subscribers only, I don't think, so that doesn't really matter. Strange. Very strange, very strange indeed. But anyway, uh, if you didn't catch it, we're eating, or I'm eating and playing. All right, cool. Going in. Going in, doing stuff. Having ourselves a ball. I don't know what's up with these bots. They're like in a, they're living in a mine, in a land of their own right now. So we have a problem. That problem is <clears throat> that I suck. That's the problem. Nope. You leave me alone. You ain't going to get me, brother. Nothing over here. Let's, um, let's shake off the rust from two days ago. Cause you know, that's what happens. Nope. Take off the two day rust. That's her. I thought it was those guys at the bottom of the stairs. I was like, what the heck? attack um, the hammer is absolutely terrible yeah break your face I I would get like a double hit
cartel. It. I pressed it. Dude, no. I broke the arm again. Oh, I should have taken advantage of that. And swamp. song it is so great it is the cleric beast song but slightly different Ooh. i did dodge into that so like i got hit no no i'm dead greedy That's what happens when you get greedy, man. That is what happens. Now we have a bigger problem. And the bigger problem is I don't have any freaking blood vials. So we're going to go farm up blood vials for a little bit. Should have done it off stream, but hey, we're here hanging out, having a good time. So, if you're here hanging out and having a good time, tell me what's going on. How's your week going? It's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. It's that time for reflection on the past and looking forwards to the week. As a teacher, you know, it's one of those things where you really, you really look forward to the weekend. Hey, Ben. Just nod. You can agree with me, it's okay. Oh, you want a carrot? Carrot for you. Ben likes carrots. Carrots are actually a really good snack for dogs, by the way. Didn't know. A little bite of tuna. The charging strong attack is Gucci. I still cannot see in this room. It's wild. <clears throat> It is absolutely wild that I cannot see. Let's see what I can do about that real quick. They don't change the brightness on. Whoop, drop the controller. We don't want to change the brightness on the monitor itself. Then, at least in a numbing mist. But then, if I do that, then when I go to do any edits for photos or anything like that, my um, colors will be off. Bum, 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 bum. Like, I legitimately cannot. This is a damn like, game's brightness is turned up to full. 
Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh, oh, here's brightness. Brightness a little bit. Oh, look at that. All right, I'm doing it in NVIDIA's control panel instead of the, man the monitor. Just because it'll be a lot easier for me to revert that change later. I can see. Glorious day. Just use the sword for a little bit. I'm surprised you survived that. Hey, pals. Aqua Teen Wolf Force. Wham. Right away. What's the. Oh, it's a stab. Hammer time. It's not that much damage. That's a lot of damage. I missed. Sir? A little closer to the door, please. There you go. Ooh. 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 Do you see that neck? What the... God, I pressed triangle thinking I'm still playing freaking Elden Ring. It's never gonna end. I'm always gonna think I'm playing freaking Elden Ring. Those birds really like... Creep me out. I just want to get a really good solid hit on you. Why aren't you like charging at me? The game's AI is like, we know what you're trying to do. up R2s. I can make that happen. I can make that happen. I was not expecting a one hit from that though. I can tell you that much. Come at me, bro. I will take a one hit because that that changes things dramatically. Oh, oh. sorry, pal. Hmm. I'm not sure if that was an open attack or if maybe the troll dudes are just um, more susceptible to blunt more susceptible to the blunt. Uh, oh, Gilbert, no. Wait. Actually, that works. What we'll do is we'll farm We'll kill all those enemies for blood vials, and then we'll come back here and we'll spend the echoes also on blood vials. And in the end, we'll have a nice stock of blood vials. Life 
will be glorious. Life will be absolutely wonderful. Eep, ba -ba. Here. Ow. The that attack is like really, really high risk, high reward. Because you are only gonna hit something right in front of you. Like this guy. And we get bullets out of this too. So, you know, all's well that ends well. The response to that is as follows. I'm really looking forward to. Looking forward to the wheel. My most favorite weapon in this entire, or actually, I have two weapons that are pretty much tied. The wheel and the amygdalan arm. Both of which are going to be usable with the build we're doing. Gonna be nice and strong. Oh no. Here's my response. <laughs> oh god I just want you I thought he was charging at me so Thought it was a good time to charge up. Nope. Nope. Now. Rally off of you for a second. Two vials and a pebble. If you actually look at the pebbles, they ain't pebbles. Just gonna throw that out there. Actually, I'll even show you. Without being, you know, cryptic about it. Does that look like a pebble to you? Um. I don't know. Sir, welcome to the show. Ah, really? Give me the garbage drop. The garbage drop. I want. I just tapped his toe. All right, bro. Sorry, man. Won't tap your toe again. <laughs> Honestly, this is enough blood vials with also going and purchasing with uh, the money that we have um, to go back to Vicar Amelia and give it a couple more wang dangers. Welcome. What is it? Farewell, um. good hand. <clears throat> Forgot that she's got the hand lantern. We've got to save up for the hand lantern, guys. How could I forget? Blasphemy on my part. Absolute blasphemy. <clears throat> Whew. All right, let's, uh, let's go give the vicar a piece of our mind. This I'm with charge attacks. 
I think I think that's where I think that's where we're gonna see some real um, progress on this fight and chargey attacks it's gonna be good time Point at me. Point at me aggressively. I should probably sit back in my chair. I didn't want to have bad posture. Her freaking toe. Damn. I'm gonna have to ask you to, uh, not. Yeah. At least I didn't wait a lot, waste a lot of blood vials on that one, though. Badly time dodge. doesn't help that um I'm not I'm playing and I'm using OBS's preview to play and I brought this up in the past what game was it that I was playing that really sucked for that there was a game that I played on the PlayStation Oh, it's Ghost of Tsushima, actually. The ghost streams. Um, playing with the OBS delay is unfortunately the difference between life and death sometimes. Because that split second is just, you know, you get the parry, you don't get the parry. You get the dodge, you don't get the dodge. Like. with my setup the way it is. It's just how I have to play. <laughs> the key! The key to the castle is mine! Be -e aggressive. He's healing her injured body parts. Aggressive. Be -e aggressive. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, I got your head though. That's what you get for being silly. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Oh, the viscerals. Oh. oh, oh, I thought I got her again. I was excited. I thought it was double visceral somehow. Ooh, 
she did the bite. I almost never see that attack. for a second there. Not by choice. do that to myself. No, 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 no. I'm actually going to do this in advance. Just in case she decides to try to do a little prayer action. Oh, oh man, I was doing so good. I mean, aside from all the hits that I took and all the blood vials that I used. Hmm. What? 18 blood vials is more than enough to go and try it again. I mean, I had three when I died, so we're good. We're going to employ a new strategy for this attempt. The new strategy is don't get hit. It'll be a wonderful, wonderful time. Nope. Point. Point at me. Point at me, frenzy boys. Aw, oh, you suck. You suck so hard. They didn't point long enough. Alright, I'm gonna take my last bit of sandwich here to give me some of that beautiful brain power I need to get through this fight. I really gotta stop 
stop getting hit. hits that I don't need to take and that's the most upsetting part like there are very easily dodgeable hits that I'm taking for absolutely no reason and I'm dead all right go get some more blood vials uh, I can't believe it I mean I can believe it but, you know, that's why we got to shake off all this rust. What a sad, sad time. Hmm. Central. Central. Central for them blood vials. Oh, God. So today, today was my first time working out in like two years. First, how are you still alive? <laughs> Sorry, it was not my first. How are you still alive? Um, first workout in two years, and I don't feel it yet, but I already know I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. And I didn't even go hard. It's just, it's been so long. He didn't drop anything. Worthless. There you go. See, why can't you be like that guy? A little more useful. But yeah, it's been so long that I just, I know it's going to be a bad time. Oh, you Wolfie? Hello. <laughs> A little aggressive there, Wolfie. Choking. I love when they ragdoll and just like fly off. Like, honestly, it's one of my most favorite features. There's my rebuttal. My rebuttal. What's up, Ben? Another carrot? There you go, buddy boy. Don't choke on it. There. I'm gonna need you to turn around. Beautiful. Okay. I wonder if we can buy numbing mist from the bath messengers. Because if we can, I'll buy that instead of blood vials since that's way more useful and we wasted two of them.
Well, it didn't waste. We used two of them when we almost got the kill. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh yeah. Um If can Vicar Amelia be poisoned? Because we can poison her. We have poison knives. We have plenty of them, in fact. Hmm. Do I use my last fire paper? You know what? Yes. Yes, I'm going to use the last fire paper. It will be glorious. It's gonna be a good time, guys. Good time, great time. I got nothing else for you, pal. You're looking at me expectantly, but not a silch. Zip. Yeah, all we have to do is beat up Vicar Amelia and that will give us um, access to the DLC, which I'm going to jump into immediately to go pick up some weapons. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I let go of the sprint. I hit dodge and I did a jump because the game registered that as a double circle press and not a dodge. No, 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 no. I'm gonna heal. Damn, bro. So close to hitting her head. Yep. Oh, I missed the visceral. I missed the visceral and I had. I had a uh, freaking fire paper on, so it would have done more damage. this one <laughs> oh god that attack that she just did that like short hop forward breaks lock on for some reason and I'm not sure why, but it doesn't seem like it should. Nice. She tried to heal. No, no, please, no! I was trying to get out! Ah, oh, again. I was trying to get out so that I could heal. Rough. 
so rough. So very rough. I'm just gonna go in with 16 blood vials. Ah, ma'am. I was going so well. Like... Mm. I felt good about that one. I felt things. Hey, pal. And she's like, oh, I need to be aggressive now. attacks there's a follow-up oh okay that changes things I'm dead but that's fine there's a follow-up r2 to the charge attack I didn't even think to check I'm so used to just doing one single hit okay Let's go get blood vials. Let's go get the vials. Go get the Healy boys. The problem so I'm not going to really use that follow-up R2 too much because the problem with it is it leaves me with no stamina and I can't, that's not something that I can do survivability wise. That was wonderful. And you only do the follow-up R2 if you charge. Which is alright. Nothing wrong with that. The learn new things every day. One tapping now. I feel like last time it took two hits. Oh, because it was an open attack. That's right. He was attacking me, so he took more damage when he got hit. Look at that guy. Hello. I would totally fight you guys out in the open, but just not, just not feeling it. I just need some quick blood vials, so. Mm, not enough to kill you. 
that second attack doesn't even really do that much damage compared to the first one. So like even against the boss, it's not something I'm going to rely on. Just get our blood vials. Call it a day. And like we could do other stuff like there's other content we could be doing right now to power ourselves up. We could go into old Yarnum and get the stuff there. But like I really feel like a lot of that stuff defeats the purpose and like the fun of just going through and like challenging yourself. Granted, I say that and I'm also saying that like I'm going to go into the DLC to get, you know, weapons. I just I want to do old Yarnum from the back way so I can get snuck so I can sneak up on Dersha. I really don't feel like dealing with that stupid minigun. Um, and the only weapon that's in old Yarnum, if you go from the front anyway, is the rifle spear, which eh. Not something I'm looking for or need. Um, future ward. Oh, oh, I was going to buy more blood vials. Also have the um, flame sprayer, though. So, have a source of fire damage, fire damage could be useful. It's gonna do flame sprayer is gonna do pretty respectable damage later in the game. Once we've uh, leveled up Arcane more. There you go. You want to dodge those stupid white face bastards. You got to run into them. Not away from them. Running away from them gives them time to correct their aim mid swing. Self. That's the real problem. Killing myself because I'm dodging incorrectly. Hits me with a three hit instead of a single and stops. Very nice indeed. Okay. Now let us continue. Reboot. Where's 
the where was the big slammy sound effect? Mess with my eyes for a second there. She would hit me, then my hit would go off, and the rally would heal me. Yeah, just sit there for a second. Ow. You got to be kidding me, man. for another hit. That arm is still injured. For, I was hoping for a head hit on that second one. Perfect. Uh, I wasted that. Wasted that. Pretty, uh, oh yeah, what? The first hit was like what? I got like tapped by her knee. Like it didn't even hit me. It just knocked me out of my attack. Try to grab me with one hand? Is that what happens when one of her arms is injured? Interesting. Ouch. Heal. Just take the hit. Just take the hit. Did that freaking thing that would have, you know. I'm just gonna use a blood vial. I have one left. triangle to use a blood vial that I didn't have.
Yes. <sighs> Killed her with the flame sprayer. Flame sprayer. Oh, wondrous skull of mystery. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Fear the old blood. We'll meet both of those guys later. Okay. We've got lots to do. All these people that you see around me are all um fighting the boss. Alright. Uh let's go to the dream. Let's level up, grab an item, and then off to the DLC. So to access the DLC. You go into the dream after you kill Viker Amelia, and as long, if you've bought the DLC, these messengers will give you the eye of a blood drunk hunter. Okay. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. Can I get some life? I'd like to survive. All right. So we got the eye of the blood drunk hunter. We go to Cathedral Ward. Same place we've been going. Hmm. I'll be right back. It's time for Ben to eat. Now that we have the eye of the blood drunk hunter, <clears throat> this is what we do. Okay. Um, now that we have the eye of the blood drunk hunter, we go over here. Remember that big blue swirly? Right here.
And that's how you get into the Hunter's Nightmare. Oh, you know what we're going to get? Oh, I'm so excited. This is so like, this is not one of my favorite weapons that I'm thinking of right now that I'm saying we're going to get, but it's a good weapon. But no, let's, um, we have running to do and uh, I'm going to die a lot. Forewarning. Hunter cap. Because these old hunters have a ton of health. And they're all they're all using um, DLC weapons, which have decent range and hit pretty hard. And I of course have uh, no blood vials either, so I'm at a disadvantage. The weapon that he's using, I've always wanted to like, like it because it is a freaking whip sword and I'm dead. Um, I've always wanted to like that weapon, but I don't. It is very very slow painfully slow. okay about the old hunter cap now this time i want to go up right here and bloodstone <clears throat> Couple beastie boys. There's a hunter at the top that's gonna murder them. Ooh. He just got like he just got a high tier blood gem from that. I might let him kill them again. Maybe we get lucky. Get two good blood gems now. Carry us for a little while. But yeah, we're going to die a couple times here. Mainly because I don't remember where all the enemies are and all the spawns. And like I said, the old hunters, they're everywhere. Okay, like there's an item right here. Hunter gloves. Eh, he killed the guys, so I got my echoes back. Because one of them had my echoes. Ooh, and one of them dropped an item. Oh, it's a blood vial. Cool. Um, alright. So, in this square... That's not what I wanted. Where is it? 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 Jesus Christ. I didn't realize he was still chasing me. Yeah, no. We're going to see the screen a lot. While I run around and get myself murdered a bunch of times. It'll all be worth it. Just take my word for it. It'll all have been worth it. Kill them. Item? Item? Any other you? No? Oh. Oh. You really think that's necessary? you are. Do you... Do I have to kill you for that? I don't think so. I think it's just lying on the floor somewhere. Is that it? No. This thing that's up here? 
Good bells. Ow, oh, I'm dead. You want free! Where? Hold on. Let me double check. The born. Ah, okay. It's not lying around. The thing that I thought was lying around. You have to, you know, there's a badge for it lying around. So you pick up the badge, it lets you get the thing. I know where the badge is. Come on. Ooh, yeah. No, 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 sir. No, no, no. No, no. No, no, no. Oh, definitely not. Hey, Bell. Actually. to go up the ramp anymore. Let's go this way. Yeah, that was my fault. Like, I know you can't survive that, yet I rolled into it anyway like a jack Like a jackhole. But we opened a door. So now we don't have to go up and over anymore. We can just go right through here where that one guy is instead of having to fight like four. Miss me. I don't think he particularly liked that. You know, I forgot you were there. I saw I saw shiny and I was like, ooh, shiny. Old hunter chess piece. Alright. Run around these guys. Go this way. Blood vials. The bad sound. It's a bad sound. Oh, right. I forgot about that. fight anything here which is fine honestly thing is you're not supposed to do the dlc like now you're not supposed to immediately jump into it and go haha let's go freaking do things this is legitimately a death run but it'll be worth it i just need to open up the next shortcut or just go grab the thing I came for. Like, that's an option too. But realistically, it's the next shortcut that needs to be opened. And then I'll have more chances to grab the thing that I came here for. And 
like as you can see once you've once you get to a certain spot it's um pretty easy to uh now okay. you guys i'm gonna leave you alone i'm here for one reason and one reason only that is to open the next door. Grab this. Mm, I forgot about you and your stupid Molotovs. Hey, broskies. So the badge that I was talking about is not this. It's downstairs. This guy is alive. Or no, he's not. But that is a trap. All right, Blood River. Um, where do I want to go? I want to go through and up. Yeah, up. No, you bastards. I wanted to go right there. Okay. Either way. We're, we're picking up lots of stuff here. That's really good. So. Progress is being made, even though I am dying over. See, you get me. You understand. You don't get me, though. You just see the peanut butter pretzels on my desk and you're thinking, hmm, why aren't those in my stomach? tell you why. Beaten already. You greedy? I'm pretty sure there's an old hunter piece right in front of those birds too that I keep running by. We should zoom. No. Hmm. The reason why when I run down here by the way that I get um, blood echoes like right here you're gonna see i get like 300 and something is because the two guys that opened the door to the cathedral are getting murdered oh it didn't happen this time there it is the two guys that were at the top of those stairs just now yeah they're getting killed by the thing inside the cathedral oh you i'm gonna heal okay um so now we do this, we go in here, we go straight out here this time. Old Hunter top hat, nice. I'm going to grab this item over here. You know what, technically we can just grab what I came here for instead of having to worry about opening the shortcut. Because it is right this way. Oh, or I'll just die. It's in there. See over there, uh, beyond that carriage, there's a little arch. goes to a cave. And the thing we're here for is in there. Zoom. Let's see if we can do that better this time without like getting hit three million times. They are guarding something. Oh, but you have to drop down onto it. Got it. Fair enough. really really 
like that in Elden Ring, they took jump off of dodge. Because so many times now in Dark Souls 1, 2, and now this. No, not 2. 2 had the jump on the analog stick, right? Dark Souls 1 and now this. I have done jumps that I did not mean to do because I'm frantically tapping the dodge button, hoping to survive an attack. Sounds angry. for flying hunter express your one-stop shop for all things fiery ball of death related and then thought i was i thought i timed it better but i didn't Absolutely gross. You have to think too, like there are so many cool YouTube videos where you can like watch these guys who are really good at this game, do all these cool fancy tricks and like get through areas without getting hurt and like all that fun stuff. But you have to also realize that like they're only showing us the clip where they didn't die and they're probably half the time suffering just as much as I am anyway. onwards my blood echoes are gonna be like right here somewhere yep right there I keep forgetting about that one. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Uh, doozy. Frenzied Cold Blood 8. Those are worth a lot of blood echoes, by the way. Like all these Frenzied Cold Bloods that I'm picking up are worth an absolute ton. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Oh, you. And there was a jump instead of a roll. This is fine, though. I'm actually not even close to frustrated yet. Having. Or not. I'm quite enjoying myself and how funny this whole thing is. See ya. Blood echoes. Hmm. You want to see? Hold on. Here, you can see the thing come out. It's one of those big giant dudes, but like, he's 
got a tentacle face. It's not why we're here this time. We come play through the DLC with higher level and upgraded weapons. Then we'll go in there and grab the thing. I'm legitimately here for one reason and one reason only. And that reason is one of my two favorite weapons. That is the whole purpose of our presence here. isn't one there isn't one angled towards me here except for that one so we do this we roll here we roll here we roll here we run past um we let those guys step out of the house because we needed to get around that hunter. You know what I want to do? Nope. You know what? Don't ask me how I survived that just now. Here's the other shortcut. No questions asked. There's no reason why that should have worked, but it did. Well, we've opened the door. That's Simon. We're not going to talk to him right now. He has a whole, he has a whole quest line to do. We're not even like, we're not even at a point where we can do anything here other than die. So like. Exactly. I love how they slow poisoned my corpse. Anyway. Fine. Because now we can go forward. just saw a um, text from my girlfriend. It was funny, but definitely silly. Okay. Um, run past you, run past you. Go past these loaded spider women. I just need to get past you into here oh, thank god oh i forgot you were here i forgot you were here oh oh wow i don't do any damage to you but i do need to kill you
because you have high tier um, upgrade materials on you. No, that was it. That was it right there. That's what I came here for. <laughs> uh, why? 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 It's okay. What are you going to do, right? I just want to rush my weapon so that I can get back to the main story. How you doing? Uh, no XC twenty two forty two. I'm assuming I said that right. If I didn't, just let me know. Boop. Boop. Oh God! What a bad place to fall. Nope. Nope. Serpentine. Serpentine. Uh, man. Okay. This time. Actually, is this what I'm here for? Nope. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. Yes! Yes! You know what? What's the goal here? I came here to get the Amic the Amicdalen arm, and then I'm gonna go back to the uh, main the main game. I just beat uh, Vicar Amelia a little while ago. I just wanted the arm as my weapon for the rest of the not the rest of the playthrough, but until I get to Lugarius Wheel, because the arm and the wheel are my two favorite weapons in the game. That's the current goal. Hi, spider lady. Is there any more loot over here I can grab before I die? Oh, stuck on a rock. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Hi. Hi. You know what? I think there's, there's stuff over here, isn't there? Hi. Hi. This is just the way forward. Uh, I could try to get the Beast Cutter Scythe while I'm here. Don't think I'm gonna get to it before I die, but... Oop. That was the wrong way. Whatever. Let's leave. We got... We got our... We got our treasure. The arm. The wonderful... Beautiful arm. I did pick up the boom hammer. I thought I... Mm, oh, wait. I don't have it. Uh, I need one level in strength. One strength level. Got the boom hammer though. This is this is a fun weapon. Uh, return. Return. Let's see. I've defeated Vicar Amelia. We can go do. We can go Witches of Hamwick. We can go Forbidden Woods. I haven't done the area to the right of the cathedral yet. Hmm, 
I can probably go get what's her name to show up now. Oh, is a bagman here? Not yet. No bagman yet. All the white face dudes are gone, huh? Nope, there's one right there. And boom. Ah, what? There was no boom. Boom. Sir? I want a boom. There we go. That's what we want to see. The big boomy. Beautiful. It was all worth it in the end. Hmm. I forgot to check. Does, did that door open? I thought the door was supposed to open after you beat Vicar Amelia. Did it though. I didn't glance over. Is the door open? How do I open that door? How do you open that door? I have to think. To think for a moment. There's a way to do it. Is there a switch up here? I don't think there is. There's like no, there's nothing up here related to the door, right? And you can whine all you want. The fact is, you've already eaten, my dude. I'm not gonna keep feeding you. Nope, nothing up here. Hmm, I thought that door was vicar related. They both just lifted their head for a moment. Hey, how you doing? Now I'm not so sure. Um, this guy's asleep now, I guess. That gross. See ya. See ya. Let me go over here. There's a couple things here. First off, there's the two hunters, which I probably can't do right now. I mean, I, yeah, I can probably take them, actually. I'm like underestimating myself, but that's more because I just feel super rusty, but. Mmm, the item is on that rooftop. I knew there was an item on one of these rooftops. Oh, I like when I looked down before, I looked down perfectly so that the little thing was blocking it. A frenzied cold blood seven. If I drop down here, will they hear me? Ooh, they didn't hear me. Can I sneak up on this guy? me with the blunderbuss like you're gonna have to come at me if you want to wow I'm just glad that he didn't go for the visceral right there okay. so I snuck up I got the sneak attack I was hoping it would do more damage than it did but I'm surprised that the other one didn't aggro. I think I'll stay, I'll stay in hammer mode. I'll sneak up behind him again. I'll stay in hammer mode. 
get the bigger hits off when I do get a hit. And, uh, progress like that. Uh, nope. Oh no. No, no, no. No, XE. I, sorry, the little, um, my, my, um, OBS notifications for whatever reason didn't sound off in my ear, but thanks for the follow. I really appreciate that. Like super, super much. It's, uh, really nice. But oh, thank you. Sorry, I didn't see it seven minutes ago. All right. And let's drop. And same strategy as last time. Uh, boom and boom. And. Oh, wow. And this time the other one woke up. Okay, bye. <laughs> there is a thingy here. Hey, pal. Don't mind if I just murder you real quick. Nope, never mind. how I was able to fight him the last time without attracting the guy. So I think what I'll do is I will sneak attack, visceral attack, back up and get him to fight me in the back. And maybe that won't attract the second one because I hate fighting both of those guys at the same time. It's a chore. <laughs> no X, have you played a lot of Bloodborne yourself? Or any Bloodborne for that matter? Or do you just like to watch? You a Souls fan? fight me back here. Two playthroughs. Nice. Yeah, this was the first, um, this was the first game of this type that I, uh, platinumed. I think this was actually my, um, First platinum trophy on PlayStation was Bloodborne. I hate how fast he is. You know, I was saying that I should do the hammer, but I think it's too slow to get any hits off on him. It's really, this is my favorite, like, of all the Souls games. Am I going to cheese him? I think I am. <laughs> yeah. We'll go with cheese. I don't mind some cheese right now. Or 
for how garbage that this fight is. Atmosphere or something else. Have you played any Elden Ring yet? I agree with you though. The atmosphere in this game. It's just like I played this first or I played Demon Souls first back on the PlayStation 3 and then this came out and I played this and I beat it like a platinum did all the stuff then on this stream now I uh, played through Dark Souls 1 and 2 I haven't done 3 yet next on the list I uh, detoured away from some Dark Souls because Dark Souls 2 was just such a such a chore Jesus Christ Dark Souls 2 is just so Dark Souls 2 that I just had to stop and get away from it so we're doing Bloodborne just for some fun times I think I know what I'm gonna do right now Dark Souls 2 right now just started it for the Platinum nice it's definitely a game but it is definitely not f not for me multiple 500 I'm gonna pop a couple of these I'll keep the eights I know I'll just use them use multiple yep perfect let's level up I must what is it uh blood echoes one strength level for the arm Alright. Boom. And there's the the arm. The arm. Fortify. Do oh, I need to farm up some bloodstone shards. But at least one level will open up a gem slot. Because we found that one good gem just now. Physical attack 8.1%. Let's go. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Where can we farm up some blood gems for this? We can we can kill wolves for a while and get we can get um let's get let's go to the wolves and try to get some shards and also we need to stock up on blood vials because I have two Now we're using one of my favorite weapons in the game. And the reason it is one of my favorite weapons in the game is not because of the smashy smash mace that I'm using right now. The reason this is one of my favorite weapons in the game is because of the transformation. But now it's transformed. We've got we've got some reach, and we also have one of the coolest charge up attacks in the game, which I will use on the wolves. Wolfy boys, come on! Hey, I'm talking to you. here there you are so 
The best, one of the best charge up attacks. It pulled the corpse into the room. Blood vial, blood vial. And of course, this weapon transformed still is one handed. So it lets us use the uh, gun. You never tried the Amygdalan arm. Um, it's got good range, as you can see. But this, the charge attack, it's just... And then... Is that, that's just the tap, right? Yeah, so if you just tap the R2, it's just boom, boom. So, like, you don't even have to do anything and you get a double hit R2 out of it. But, um, no, the, the double charge R2 is really, really strong because it still counts as a very heavy weapon. So you still get slams on enemies, like with the Kirk hammer. So like it still will make these guys drop down flat is probably the best part of it but then you also get the extra hits I used this weapon a lot when I was um, on my level 200 character that I have I used this weapon to do all my soul farming in the chalice dungeons because it just, you could uh, cheese the crazy overpowered night dudes that you do the farming from in the doorway with it and they wouldn't be able to hit you. I'm gonna really quick go back. <laughs> now you wanna try it, nice. Yeah, no, it's a good weapon. There's, they're all good weapons and like, the boom hammer so the boom hammer a lot of people like this weapon i personally don't but i don't because it's like a discount uh to nitrous to nitrous the electric one because the electric one you buff it and it stays buffed the boom hammer you buff it and you get one swing before you have to buff it again. Ah, oh, I'm what is So like very well let me I'm not super about it. Get two strength levels. But there are many people who swear by it. And I'll use it for a little bit here cuz like the arm is great. But on the wolves, the hammer will probably do a lot more damage because of the fire. And we can do the charge up boom on them. Light it up and then do a nice charge attack. The real nice thing about the boom hammer and the arm several of the DLC weapons is they stay one handed when you transform them so you don't lose out on parries using them and then like there are others like the bow blade which obviously becomes a bow so you can parry with the arrows not as uh, consistent You can do it. Um, the Rakuyo is also really strong. People playing skill builds. I 
think the Rakuyo is a skill blood tinge weapon, actually. I don't remember, though. So, like, with this thing... Obviously, I'm, like, playing it a little dangerous right now, but, like... There's nothing... Nothing really stopping you from just using Amygdala and arm scales with strength and uh, arcane. Yeah, this character is going to be a strength arcane build. So it actually scales the boom hammer, the Amygdala and arm, the Kirk hammer, and then also eventually um, the Logarius wheel, which is gonna be my main weapon once I get it but to get the Logarius wheel you have to do um, called? you have to um, what do you have to do I mean you have to do Kanehurst but to get to Kanehurst you have to go through the Forbidden Woods come up through the back of Yusefka's clinic get the Kanehurst summons Go to Charnel Chapel Lane, go to Kanehurst, like, kill Martyr Ligarius, give the summons to Alfred, send Alfred there to kill the Vile Blood Queen, and then he gives you the badge that lets you freaking buy the wheel. Whereas the arm, all we had to do was kill, uh, what's her nuts? Vicar Amelia, and then death run to it. now just stocking up on some blood vials i was hoping to get some um bloodstone shards from the wolves but they're not dropping them so we'll probably let me let me check here uh ch -ch -ch -ch. where can where can we reliably farm some bloodstone shards um bloodborne Bloodstone shard. Bloodstone shard. Up to level three. Need sixteen to get to level three. Possible drop from wolf beasts. Oh right, there's a lot of wolves down in Old Yarnum. The wolf beast just before the old Yarnum lantern appears to have a near 100% drop rate with a chance of getting two at a time and will also drop beast blood. Well, it's, that's good to know. Um, there's a bunch in treasures. Uh, cha -cha -cha. Pretty sure I picked all these up because of the fact that I, uh, what you call? Because I upgraded the her camera plus 16. So we've used quite a few or plus three. So we used 16 of them already. So it does really look like we're stuck farming. But we can go to if the one up in front of the old Yarnum lamp is almost guaranteed we can just go to the old Yarnum lamp and farm him for a little bit. Get a little repetitive with all these uh, loading screens, but I want to upgrade these weapons. And there's also the fact that eventually we will be able to buy them. In fact, what do what's the thing you need to do to buy them? Bloodstone shard. Um, sold by the insight vendor after defeating a uh, blood starved beast. Um, sold by the blood echo 
bender after getting the radiant sword hunter badge which we can actually and Okay, so apparently the only way to get there, fine, fine, we'll go into old Yarnum. Game wants me to go into old Yarnum, I'll go into freaking old Yarnum. Oh, gotta go up this ladder. I'll kill this beast one time though. So you, apparently the door in Cathedral Ward only opens up if you, um, kill Bloodstar Beast, which is fine. It's not a hard fight, so it's not like I'm like really bent out of shape about it. Hey, look, we got a shard. I was just hoping to get into old Yarnum without having to fight uh, stupid uh, Jura. Old Yarnum. All right, well, whatever. I know this route, so. Let's just do it. Pick up the rifle spear on my way. Let's put the arm on. Oh, old Yarnum. This town is long abandoned. Hunters not wanted here. You bet. Gotta go. Have a good night. No X. Uh, I'll be streaming again on Friday. We'll be playing some Diablo 2 Resurrected. Turn back at once. Old Yarnum, abandoned by men, is now home. For the hunter. Three shards. There's a guy to my left, isn't there? Yeah. Hey, pal. See ya. See ya, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Like, actually wouldn't want to be ya. You're ugly. Does not open from this side. But there's a ladder. What? Is it eight o'clock? Okay, we've got some time left on this glorious stream of ours. I love these spam text messages that I get. This one says, Hi, Juan. How are you doing these days? My name is not Juan. Better luck next time, spammer. Hmm, I missed whatever this was. Trying to, oh, more bloodstone shards. Hmm. Um, can I safely fall? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, that looks like death. So I guess I'll drop back down the way I did the first time. Three, four, five. Did you okay. back up this way? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, man, that sucks. 
that blood stain means that someone dropped right there and was standing on that ledge and had no choice but to fall to their death. All right. So, for people who are still hanging out watching, the reason I did not want to come here is going to become very plainly apparent momentarily. Not because of that guy, by the way. The enemies here are not the problem, really. None of these guys are close to an issue. These are actually like the half beast, half man enemies. They have not a lot of health. Something back here, isn't there? Yeah. So, the reason why I didn't want to come down here and why I wanted to come through the other direction, because there is another direction, because of this. Skilled hunter, adept, Dodge, my friend. Oh man, we skipped his dialogue because I was pressing X to pick up the item. Hmm. There. That noise you just heard. This is the sound of. The sound of a minigun. Pretty sure there's something on the back here. worth it too. Dude back here. Freaking crows, they are so loud. Hi. Follow me all the way in here. A tinge gemstone. Nice, nice. Very nice. That'll go well in a ranged weapon. Ranged weapons scale with blood tinge. All right. We want to go. That's not a door we can go in. We want to go right into that. Um bridge right there. There's a hunter to our right. We don't want to deal with him just yet. What we want to do is go up this ladder. your lesson. All right. We'll do this the easy way. Is that there's an easy way to do this and the easy way is 
like this. That's the easy way to do that. And we're going to save and exit because he drops an item and the only way to get the item when he falls off the map is to save and exit. Okay, Ben. There it is. Powder keg, hunter badge. All right. I will be right back. I'm going to let Ben outside because he is doing a little whiny whine. Got a eh, couple minutes, give or take, before Benito is ready to come back downstairs or come back inside. That time for progression. That's just the ambiance inside here. I think so. so. We're gonna go in here. Pretty sure. Pretty sure if I just sit tight right here. All of those enemies are going to come up to me. Maybe not. But I can't. So do a little platforming here. Get this. Ritual blood and make our way out. Did I go the wrong way? No, I didn't. In fact, we go up this ladder that will open up the uh, door at the top here. just in front of all right so we've got that shortcut opened up go this way all right 
There's a couple of wolf enemies here. We just want to run past everything. Where I want to go. Oh God, Ben's ready to come inside. Oh, cool. Let me go let him in. All right. Something attacked me, Ben. Ah, oh, man. I thought I was safe. It looked like I was for a minute. this works anyway because we missed out back up in here real quick where I want to be yeah oh where is it Oh my god. Happy now? I think is that what you wanted? for looking for the building with the rifle spear am I like going crazy it is in here isn't it oh it's the bottom of that building I remember now doesn't matter Drop down, idiot. Anyway, bunch of dudes there. We're gonna disregard them. Disregard this guy for a second. Pick up my flipping blood echoes. See, that was the problem last time. Wow. Are you kidding me? You have to. 
to be kidding me. I blame... Blame the dog. I blame the dog. It's all Ben's fault. Where is the rifle spear? Oh, it's here. This is where I was before. Losing my mind. There you go. Hope that was worth it. under there. I actually got hit by that. Anyway. This is what you call a pro gamer move. Not what he did. Actually, now that I think about it, if you want to flip over to this other side for a second. Pretty sure there's something... There's not something. I thought there was something on the back of the tree. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. That's what we like to see. What are the transform attacks for this weapon? Club. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna just clear all these guys out because they keep coming up behind me and fighting me while I'm fighting the wolf down there, and I'm sick and tired of it. I knew there was one of you here. Like, I actually knew, but I didn't remember where. Like, you're not a hard enemy. I just can't be fighting you and then also dodging from behind. Thanks for that. Actually something I need. Now can I go get my blood echoes? Oh, there's another one. Can I go get my Plot Echoes? Ali. This is... Um, I don't believe that door opens. Or does it? I think it does. This does not open from this side, but then like the other side. Like... This isn't the door that bursts open. Wolves above us. Wolves in front of us. I okay, see that one over there on the left. There's one that bursts open from this door right here that we're approaching. Making sure it's not a multiple wolf debacle. So here comes a wolf. We 
open the best shortcut in this area. Because this shortcut. us all the way back to the lantern. I do believe oh. so that shortcut now from the lantern we can just drop down. But anyway, I do believe we have enough um you know what? I'm going to kill the last of the wolves at the bottom just to be sure. But I do believe we have enough bloodstone shards to uh, finish upgrading this beat my shoulder. Wolf above us. So the wolf doesn't drop until you walk into the alley to get the loot. Where's way of like scripting encounters. Beast blood pellets are a temporary buff that is busted if you take advantage of it. Um, more insight you have, the worse the beast blood pellets. Um, are. So if you have a lot of insight. Beast blood will not be very good for you. If you have no insight, beast blood can be really uh, strong for you. The main reason you want to kill that dude with the blanket on his head is if you saw the wolf right before it attacked, it had red glowing eyes. <clears throat> that red glow is a buff from blanket head boy. And down there is the boss. Is there another scurrying beast down? I don't believe there is. There was a blanket head. There's a spot guy. Scurrying beast. Yeah, blood starved beast is inside there. We'll get to him in a minute. Old blood do. Oh. I don't feel like walking all the way back to the top. Let's go to the lantern and then go to the dream. Use our echoes to level up and upgrade our weapon. Then Let's start with beast time. All right, Ben. Earth. Let's start beast time. He agrees. Welcome. What is it? Very Channel blood echoes. Don't you start. Farewell, good hunter. Uh, fortify, Amygdalan arm. Oh, we have so many blood shards. Oh, and we can go, go to plus four. Plus four. So you can see physical attack for the um, Kirk hammer. 
still higher, right? But the Amygdalan arm has physical and arcane. Blood gem fortification. 1.4. What do you have? 1.1 and HP continues to recover. Oh, but you have this thing. Which we can put that on. Get a little bit more damage because it's 2.7 and rally potential. And now the Amygdalan arm. Well, it's just going to kick that Kirk hammer out of the water. And we're going to go ahead and take it to plus four with the twin bloodstones that we have. If we had one more twin bloodstone. It'd be a plus five. Mm, do we need to repair? I forgot that repairing is the thing in this game. Um. So yeah, we can buy bloodstone shards. We can also get Dirge's armor and Henrik's armor. Uh, we will be getting Henrik's armor for when we're ready to fight um, Dark Beast Parl because of the high lightning resistance. But we don't need it yet. And then since we got the powder keg badge, we can also now buy the rifle spear, the stake driver. That's it, really. Oh, and the repeating pistol. Mm, do I want the repeating pistol? Kind of. Kind of. Ludwig. All right. Um, let's. Ben's licking the carpet. I don't know why, but licking the carpet. Um. Old Yarnum. Mm, I should have spent the last of those blood echoes on heels or something or bullets. One of the two. Either way, we're going to do Blood Starved Beast and then we're going we're gonna to start doing Chalice Dungeons. Because he drops a Chalice, so. It's um, not part of the main story, but it's something we can do and enjoy and have fun with. Peace. Regard that noise. So much damage. So much damage. <laughs> the funny thing is, um, right now the untransformed version of the arm this club weapon I actually don't really care for it 
whole reason I like this weapon is because of this. But it does respectable damage, you know? I might actually just use the club on Blood Starved. There he is. I knew there was one of them here. You can't hide from me. I knew there was one here. Like in my brain when we came down earlier, I was like, there's a skittering beast. All right. And there's Blood Starved. Now, Blood Starved can be extremely easy if you know what to do. Blood Starved, as his name implies, is Blood Starved. So the pungent blood cocktail is extremely strong on him because it will make him go to that spot. And it's actually not advised for you to keep your distance like I was, because if you're right up on him, uh, can dodge all of his attacks very easily by uh, dodging to his left. Also, um, Blood Star of Beast um, gains a uh, poisonous fog aura something in his second and third phase. So it's actually worth our time to um, have antidotes on our select. So right here, he's now putting out poison. Freaking poisoned and use an antidote on this freaking boss. Oh, this isn't. Wow. I almost killed myself there for no reason. You have to be kidding me. Like, you actually have to be kidding me. Every single time I use an antidote, I instantly got poisoned again. Every single time. That's wild. Legitimately, like, I'm extremely, um, Surprised. Can't use fire paper on the arm. I didn't think you could. Um, I'm extremely surprised that like that's how that went down. Back versus beast up twelve point six. Actually, gonna go put that on because blood starved beast name implies beast so that's a multiplicative 12% on top of everything else that we've got going on It'll be real nice damage. Real nice. But anyway, uh, Blood Star of Beast should not have killed us. In fact, and that's why. 
Um. Looks like black church garb is what we're going to wear. black church hunter for this fight um so yeah the reason and i was actually thrown off by it but that's my fault for not you know checking my stats i was getting poisoned so fast because we had zero pretty much poison resistance from the hunter garb Wasted an antidote. He still had the buff from the stupid hood guy. And as you can see, down here is not bad for getting some echoes early game. Thing is, we killed what four enemies, two thousand echoes. There's two more wolves that we could fight. Um, anyway, let's try this again. Blood starved should not be a problem. I really shouldn't have even died the one time, but we all make mistakes. Also back here. Three more antidotes. So and now we have almost a full stack again. Right there is the one that will get you killed more often than anything else. No, I mean, I saw the username and I already knew it was you. But what's up, man? How's it going? What's going on? Going, man. How's uh, Wednesday treating you? Better than me, I'm assuming, because you know, I'm dealing with this. Ooh! Ooh. Well, I figured to check in since I have a couple and got done by the jobs. Nice. Um, did 
you make any characters on the D2 ladder that just started? Almost got me. Phase 3 is where this fight actually sucks. He didn't do it. Nice. Yeah, I did. I made um, a Barb and a Pally so far because of the balance changes. So I'm playing um, Fist of Heaven's Paladin. And then I want to transition my Barbarian into a Throw Barb, but um, I haven't done it yet. Right now he's just a singer. I still don't have gear to turn him into a Frenzy or a Zerk Barb. are cool um the fist of heavens changes are awesome because now fist of heavens um affects uh what's it called demons so you know there's um more things you can actually hit with it because before you know it only affected undead <laughs> still sucks because like just about every freaking zone in the game that you think is undead only like say like the sewers in act two right right at the beginning you think it's only undead because like radiments there and all that nonsense and then you go in and those saber cats they're beasts or they're considered beasts so they're not demons in Act 5, um, Moon Lords are also not considered demons. So literally, like, the most dangerous enemy in Worldstone Keep, you can't hit. This over, yep. Cool. Almost used all my blood vials. Ugh. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, beast damage boost for druids. Um, beast damage boosts. Let's see, druid changes. Um, do druid is now more viable, but not as good as a summon necro still because summon ne or necros obviously have amp damage that they can just cast whenever they want and double their damage and also they still have more minions but zoo druids so summon druids can now summon all of their pets welcome what is it so you're not like stuck with one pet anymore like it used to be very well let me start um they did a couple changes to um the way shapeshift worked like they changed the attack speed and then it was really sucky and then they changed it back and now it's okay again so like i don't really think shapeshift got any big changes um fire druids got buffed but of course fire sucks in hell because you lose a lot of um your damage due to um Resistances and stuff, right? Court ritual. Um, what else? They so the buff to fire druids is uh, Armageddon hits faster and more often and isn't as spread out. So now Armageddon's um, actually useful. Um, Molten Boulder, uh, travels a hundred percent faster. So now it's like a missile almost. And what else? What else did fire get? I think that's it. Those are the two big changes. Volcano still the same. Fisher still the same. 
Oh, and Firestorm, I think, is still the same. Um, martial Arts Assassins got a rework. So now the way Martial Arts Assassins works is uh, when you build your charges, like you build your three charges, when you use a finisher, you only spend one charge. So like if you're playing um, Phoenix Strike, you know, the Chaos Ice Bolt that shoots out when you have three charges, you can use a finisher, shoot out the ice bolts, hit it again to build up your third charge, shoot out ice bolts, hit it again, shoot out ice bolts, or you can do what people have been, other people are doing, which is build up your three charges, use three finishers in a row and pop all three effects and then build up again. So martial arts got that change. Also, uh, blade sentinel and blade, like the blade abilities, they got buffed. So not only do they do a fraction of your weapons damage, but they also got flat damage added to them per level. Um, back on the druid, uh, the synergies for summons actually count from soft points as well. So any plus to skills adds to your synergies. Oh, you suck. Hammer er, Hammerdin's still super strong. Beast of Heavens, like I said, it got buffed. And so Holy Bolt also got the same effect, like base Holy Bolt. So now Holy Bolt itself is really strong for those areas. Uh, Blizzard and Orb for Sorceress is the same. But now there's also, no, soft points do not work across all characters. Soft points only work for the summon druid. I don't know why, but the summon druid only gets soft point synergies. got reworked yeah, cross build trees would be more op but they didn't go that far uh hydras got reworked so now um you can put out all your hydras almost instantly oh all of the skills every skill that had a cooldown before that like shared a cooldown so you know how like you would cast orb and it would put like blizzard on cooldown all of those are separate now so orb has its own cooldown blizzard has its own cooldown so on and so forth hydra has its own cooldown but they change hydras so you can basically spam them all at once and pop up all your turrets to do damage and you can only have six at a time and the reason that is is because before even with maximum cast speed with the delay, the maximum amount of hydras you could have out was six. So it wasn't like they didn't nerf hydras by limiting it. They just made it so that it's more uh, consistent. And you get to front, you get to front load your damage now. I really want to make a hydra sork. I've been like, I've seen some of them while leveling. They're super OP. Uh, barbs got buffed. Yeah, quick drop hydras. Barbs got buffed in the fact that um, find potion is now a synergy to find item. So you can actually get find item up to like 70 something percent with just points into find item, find potion, and then plus the skills, which is, you know, huge for getting like runes and stuff. That's actually, I leaked, or I uh, ladder started with a barb made the paladin afterwards so now Hork horker barbs are literally the most op farming build in the game so no questions asked at all uh, throw barbs are now viable so um throwing mastery was what got changed 
double throw didn't get changed i think it got a synergy maybe i don't i don't know i think the synergy was there already but um throwing mastery now um gives um a chance like 50 percent chance not to consume when you throw and then um replenish quantity on crit strike and throw mastery gives you crit strike so basically it's like a self-sustaining loop now for throwing weapons like you can you can throw for a long time before having to even consider going back to town oh and throwing mastery got pierce so now um throw barb not only is sustainable but is also technically aoe because it can pierce and hit multiple targets Uh, leap attack got an AOE as well, but it's still from what I saw people posting It's still pretty bad because it still relies on attack rating, which you know means it can miss But leap attack when you land now has a little a little AOE Nova around it What else did they change? Um, they buffed skeleton mages, but they're still garbage, so nobody uses them. Trying to think of the other characters. Amazons, uh, poison javelins got buffed or updated. Something like that. Poison javs got updated, so they're usable now. And... Oh, all of the elemental arrow skills for Amazons have been updated and now do a lot more damage. So now they are also viable. Undead giant. I forgot that you were really dumb. with Vite only meta is like what else are you going to put those points into? Throwing mastery affects potion? I'm not sure. I would assume but I guess it depends on whether or not you can double throw potions. I don't know if you can. I'm going to die to this boss. I don't have enough. I came into the fight with no freaking heals. Actually, I might not die. Where's the other growth? He has another growth on him, right? His other leg. Ouch. Drawing master. Uh, yeah, I already answered that. I have no idea about the potion thing. The problem with potions is, you know, there's no, you know, unique potion weapons like there's so many throwing axes throwing daggers and stuff what else got updated that assassins i said necros arms sword druids paladins yeah that's everything that's pretty much everything that got updated right there Listed all the classes. Oh, I have no blood vials. Arm some. Yeah. If you're interested in playing some D2, just let me know. I can kind of rush you with my barb. Like, he's my barb is in hell, but like he's um not the fastest, obviously. I still have to make a sork. And you know, Farewell, good do all that. Where am I going? Back to central. Because we need blood vials. So I'm going to go to the tried and true easy spot for the beginning of the game. Oh, 
there were that's the other thing they added four new rune words and they also changed act one and three mercenaries the new rune words aren't like end game rune words technically i mean one of them is there's a six socket staff rune word that's like kind of okay but it doesn't beat out like what was already like the meta gear for the slots and there's a six socket sword rune word that is like um I think it's kind of meant to be a um, barbarian, like a, what's it called? A berserker or frenzy, like before grief type thing. Like before you can get your grief or your breath of the dying. Like it's basically like a, it, the runes that it needs aren't all like high runes, if I remember. Um, they added like a helmet rune word that has like minus enemy fire resistance for all the fire skills that got buffed. Um, insight can now be made in um, four socket bows. So if you want the act one mercenary with insight for your sork or whoever needs it. I think infinity also, but I'm not I'm not sure about that one. I know insight for a fact. And I think they added another bow rune word. They added um, the two rune words that were in the game files that were never implemented. Uh, pattern and plague both got added. They can one of them can be made in three socket claws only, and the other one is three socket claws and three socket swords. I don't remember which one switched though. Amazons, all the javelin melee skills got updated, so they attack faster and have more attack rating. I believe was the change. They basically tried to make a bunch more stuff viable, but at the end of the day, like the meta hasn't changed. Uh, granted, now uh, instead of meaty orb. Uh, Sork, it's Hydra Orb Sork now because Hydras are more reliable than Meteors are. And Hammerdens are still Hammerdens, Horkers are still Horkers. So the I shot Hell Diablo kill is actually viable now, or one shot Hell Diablo kill. We'll move out of the way. Maybe. Maybe it is. I don't, I wouldn't know about the logistics of that since I've never like tried making a character like that. Again for 12 more vials and then we'll, or actually I, I was supposed to finish streaming like seven minutes ago. I want to kill the undead giant though before I sign off. But um. When I'm done here, if you want to jump into a Discord call, you can chat. And then I was going to play the ladder for a little bit anyway. Light farming, level up my paladin a little bit. Bullets. <laughs> oh, don't even remember being at pass. Nice. He didn't, oh, I guess he didn't play the D3, the new season either, huh? With the changes they made to Barbarian for Raker. Is 
Unfortunately, Diablo 2 II and 3 saw a lot of barbarian changes and updates. lost in the jobs nice yeah that's good though like having work to keep you busy isn't a bad thing and oh i forgot that that was a thing such a good attack too I'm just gonna do this so I can get rid of all the birds, or just one of them. This past week, I made a um, yeah, want more free time. I get that. I made a home gym this week. I bought a treadmill, weight bench, a bunch of weights. worked out. I just finished putting it all together yesterday. Today was the first time I used all of it together. It was nice. this weapon so much because it trivializes easy enemies hmm now that I'm not fighting blood starved beast I can um, probably put something a little bit more defensive back on yes hunter D2 looks better than D3. Yeah, I mean, D3, you know, it got the stylized treatment because, like, at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, the stylized treatment, like, graphics can, graphics can look better, right? Like, they can always get better. So, the stylized treatment when they were developing D3 makes sense because that's, its own style it's not meant to be super realistic but it's also not meant to be extremely cartoony either it's an in-between that like kind of almost has a timeless look to it it's the same approach they did with wow like you can't compare wow graphics to like final fantasy 14 because they went for different things whereas final fantasy 14 can be compared to final fantasy 15 and 16 and you know final fantasy 20 when that eventually comes out like there will always be more final fantasies to compare just final fantasy to specifically yeah well i mean think about the fact that like d2r came out what this year diablo 3 came out eight years ago was it eight did it come out in came out when i was still living in sierra vista so even longer than eight years ago like diablo 3 is like 10 years old now getting hits in on this guy like I'd like to. Did I pop the blood I popped the one on his leg. 
just throws me off on switching to D2, yeah. Yeah, no, I totally get that. I feel the same way when I'm switching between, like, games like that, too. Especially when I go from, like, you know, playing something like extreme... I'm dead. Extremely photorealistic. And then I play, like, D3 or... Wow, which I haven't played in a while, but same thing. Even if you play like Torchlight, because Torchlight did the same thing. It's got that really cartoony, timelessy wannabe look. Will this boss? It shouldn't be this hard. Let me go back to the club. Come on, man. I, I'm dodging way too early. I'm missing damage. I still have that stupid beast upgrade rune on my weapon. This guy's not a beast, so it doesn't affect him. I need range. so time limited yeah no I know I, I know that feeling um, I stopped this week is my first week back to streaming I stopped streaming for basically an entire month not month and a half just because of like not being in a good spot mentally and the entire time that I wasn't streaming I was still like so bogged down with like thinking that I was like super busy that I just could never decide on a game to play so even though I took a month off of streaming I didn't actually like play any video games Watching like all of the 130 episodes of One Piece that are on Netflix in that time instead. Which is really weird when we consider the fact that I don't watch a lot of TV. I have four blood files left? Five. Um, I'll try. I'll give it another shot. Give it one more attempt. It's 917 for me, so. I don't appreciate that at all. Getting greedy. I really need to not. In fact, I should go with the club. Club can get a better hit. Or actually, I just remembered. That's a good hit. That's a nice, a nice chunky hit right there. Run. 
running running strong attack is really good with this weapon when it's extended like this am i dead nope just in between his legs which you know some would say is equivalent to being dead considering i wouldn't want to be in between a giant zombie's leg Two, three. Where's the third hit? Oh, he just healed his leg. Okay. I didn't know it was broken. There's other people here. I always love the fact that this game is as old as it is, and there's still like tons of people playing it, always makes me really happy. I'm gonna stop here because I'm gonna have to farm up heals off of stream. I'm not gonna keep going back and farming heals. But anyway, that'll be the end of the stream at least. So again, for those of you that hung out and joined us today, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, we'll be picking up on Friday with some D2 Resurrected and Saturday. I think we'll go back into Ghost of Tsushima. I don't know yet, but until then, Peace.